A lawyer, Excellency. What can I do for you? I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Minister. Your Excellency, it is always an honor. How may I serve you? I would like to talk to you about an islander who is trying to set up shop in our city. Since he doesn't have a patent, his wares get confiscated as soon as he receives them. And you want me to provide him with the said patent? I would be delighted to show you the procedure to follow so that we may study his request. You'll understand that we cannot give an authorization without having determined the value of the goods beforehand. We must determine the tax rate according to this value, determine the best emplacement for this business. In short, these things take time. A lot of time. I'm certain that my cousin will be delighted to hear that our relations with the natives are progressing in a significant way. And he will probably be very grateful to the minister who helped their first merchant set up shop in our city. Indeed. I seem to recall reading a circular on the necessity of establishing good relations with the natives. We could accelerate things by leaving some formalities for later. I would think so too. Very well. In that case, here's the patent that will allow your protege to legally pursue his activity in the city. You should give him this copy. The other one will be kept in the archives. However, one of my representatives will visit his stall for the estimation and to determine the tax rate in accordance with the... Thanks a lot, Minister. Looking forward to seeing you again. Would you like anything else? That'll be all. Goodbye, Your Excellency. Something terrible happened. What is it? I was just bringing you the patent you needed to set up shop. The Bod Irony came back, and they took my cousin away. 
He came to bring us animal pelts and new objects from the village. But the warriors came back. They took everything he was bringing me. And they also took him. Oh, I don't know what they will do with him. Please, bring him back to me. I don't see why they would have arrested your cousin, but I'll try to find out. Hello, Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've come to see you again to talk about the Islander merchant. I managed to obtain a license for him, but he informed me that while I was taking care of this, his cousin, who was making a delivery for him, was arrested. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Especially considering you've managed to obtain an official authorization for him. I'm afraid my men ran out of patience when they saw this hunter making deliveries for the merchant again. They wanted to confiscate his cargo, but the lad resisted, and he was thrown in jail for disorderly conduct. If you want to set him free, that's where you must go. Sorry, again, Your Excellency. I should have known you'd managed to obtain the necessary license for your protégé and told the patrol. Is there anything else? No, thank you. Gonna do for you. I'm looking for a prisoner, a native who should have been brought here recently. You're a bit late. He was sent to fight in the arena. In the arena? So this man was judged? Who pronounced the sentence? Whoa there! Do you really think that we would organize a proper trial for a savage? He attacked some guards. He's lucky he won't gun down right there and then. At least in the arena, he has a chance of survival, since apparently, he's a hunter. This man was only defending the goods he was bringing to his cousin. And now he has to fight for his life. I have no hand in this. I'm not the one who made this decision. They brought him here, and then they took him away, that's all. What did you do with the goods he had with him? They got confiscated, put in the storeroom, like all the rest. Anything else? I must leave you.
This part of the establishment is reserved for regular customers who paid an entry fee. Sorry, but I can't let you in. In that case, allow me to pay the fee. We're delighted to have you as a regular customer, Your Excellency. Have fun. Good day, and welcome to the arena. Is this your first time? It is. Excellent. The crowd just loves to see new faces. So, are you ready to rise to the challenge? Or would you like a little reminder of the rules before jumping in? Unless, of course, you're just here to go over the basics and get in some practice. I wish to fight alongside the island hunter that was captured. Really? You'd have to go in alone. Your friends will need to stay in the stands. Are you sure that this prisoner is worth risking your life for? This man has been the victim of terrible injustice. I cannot stand aside without doing anything. Well, that's extremely noble of you. But it's just the sort of crazy idea that the crowd loves. <laughs> I have to warn you, though, if you want to fight now, you will lose your bonus in the running challenges. So, what'll it be? Justice cannot wait. I am ready to fight. Excellent. In that case, the arena awaits you. to show you've won the affections of the crowd and when the crowd makes a decision it gets what it wants you're free prisoner <laughs> i owe you my life on all manawi blessed be the winds that have blown you to my side by what name should i address you my name is de Sade. in fact it's your cousin the merchant that sent me follow me let's go and find him
Ready to excite the crowd. I need to get going. Huh. A pity. Well, come back again soon. Ready to excite the crowd. Could you explain the rules again? Certainly. In order to each chap. But once it... I need to get going. Huh. Manawi, oh, I'm glad to see you again. Oh, Ven, oh, I'm so glad to see you alive. Then you must thank this Onol Manawi. He fought to save me. Thank you. May the grass always be soft beneath your feet. Don't mention it. I also brought you back your goods. May the trees always bear you fruit. We owe you a lot. You should go see Ulan. The chief of Vignamri, my village. He wants to be friends with the Renaigse. Since you are a legate, you could talk to him. Ah, on all Menawi. Oh, I'm glad to see you again. I'm just passing through. Greenblood, my friend. My contacts have spoken. I was able to discover the location of this infamous phantom training camp. Do you still think they should be held accountable? More than ever. You know that I recruited Rayner. I want to know what kind of hornet's nest I led him into. I want to know what these madmen did. But I fear if I go alone, I might not be able to control myself. And I won't learn anything. I need the help of my best student. How can I refuse such a request? Well then, let's go.
Greenblood, my friend. Do you need something? You seemed really attacked. He brought some men after all. Don't be foolish. That I should any I must leave you. Move away. Things are about to get dicey. I was informed of your arrival by my sentinels, but I didn't think it would be you, Kurt. Rolf, you're the leader of this camp. You two know each other. We train together. We haven't seen each other in a long time. A very long time. The world of warriors is very small, Kurt. What brings you here, my old comrade? And who are these people with you? They're not one of us. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. And I'm Siora Donegad of the Gaius Rad. These people sure are important. So, what are you doing here? I've heard things about this place. About this very special camp. And we wanted to see what it was all about with our own eyes. That's very nice of you, but visitors aren't welcome in this camp. What goes on here is only the guards' business. Does the same apply to me? <sighs> Listen, Kurt. I can give you and your friends some answers, but only because it's you. Anyway, knowing you as well as I do, I'm aware I'm not going to get rid of you that easily. So, what would you like to know? What is it you do here? And why is this place kept secret? Even from your comrades in the guard. The natives have their magic, and we have to train elites to be able to face them. That's what we're doing here. Our role is sensitive, and our location obviously cannot be revealed to the whole island. Does this man not realize that I'm a Donegad? I noticed you're a native, but you're a friend of Kurt's. So I trust you will be discreet. 
I see the reason for this kind of training. The Bridge Alliance would be particularly interested in soldiers like these. And yet I've never heard of this... elite squadron. We're still in the early stages of the program. We don't want to rush things. And our leaders demand secrecy. Orders are orders. This is a huge camp for such a secret location. How's it organized? The main building is reserved for officers and the wounded. The front and rear of the camp are dedicated to combat training. But most exercises take place outside. Impressive. And how do you manage recruitment? Only the best come here. Those who have combat experience. Once they arrive, they're separated into two squadrons, each led and trained by a lieutenant. But you already know all of this, Kurt. It must bring back memories. Yes. Will you tell us about your training? That's a sensitive topic. Most exercises take place in the field to get the men used to it. The natives' knowledge of the environment gives them as much of an advantage as their magic. But if you want to know more, you should ask my lieutenant instructors. Actually, we found out about this camp while we were looking for someone. A kid I recruited. Rayna. Oh. I didn't know he was one of yours. My condolences. I was told he died in an accident in the harbor. Don't insult my intelligence, Rolf. <sighs> All right. Since you're here, I guess there's no point in lying to you anymore. The accident occurred during a maneuver. It's regrettable. But these things happen, you know? We've taken up enough of your time, Captain. I agree, and I have things to do. I'd like to question your lieutenant instructors, if you don't mind. To ask them about Rayna. You've become a real sap. <sighs> Fine. But try not to disrupt the day's schedule too much. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I couldn't contain my anger. <sighs> I noticed. Good thing you know this captain so well. Lieutenant. Captain. My friend here would like to learn more about this camp. At your orders, Captain. Madam. What kind of training takes place in your ranks? Combat in natural settings. Combat against the savages' magic. I'm very curious about how you train against the magic the natives use. Now, these are complex, secret maneuvers. I'm very sorry, but I can't tell you anymore. That's a pity. It would definitely be instructive. Can you tell us about your squadron? The recruits who come here are the best. And in my squadron, they get even better. I don't know what else to tell you. They're disciplined, rigorous, and effective. Exactly what you'd expect from the best soldiers. I heard the recruit Rayner trained here. What can you tell me about him? Oh, he was a good one. He died a little while ago. So we've heard. Your captain told us he died during a maneuver. Can you tell us more? The training we do outside can be dangerous. Unfortunately, Rayner fell to his death in a ravine. He fell? During a simulated ambush. I know, it's not glorious, but it happens. I'd like to get back to work now, if you'll allow it, Captain. Go on. We're gonna go talk to some of your recruits. I hope that it won't take too long. We're all very busy here. We'll be quick, Lieutenant. The story about training against magic is a lie. This Lieutenant has no idea what he's talking about. So what could they be training recruits for here, then? I don't know. Lieutenant! Respectfully, Captain. Here is my friend, the Legate of the Merchant Congregation. She would like to ask you a few questions. At your orders. I'm listening, sires. How do the various squadrons in this camp differ from one another? The recruits I train are intended to carry out more subtle actions. Really? What kind? I teach them how to blend into the background, understand customs, observe, and know when to strike. That's strange. These skills are normally associated with assassins rather than soldiers. These skills are always useful, regardless of the enemy or the setting. What kind of training do your men undergo? I can't go into details, but they learn discipline and to outdo themselves. 
You mean to blindly follow orders, even to their death? But I... No, Captain. We also teach them to analyze situations, so that they know when to act to avoid risking their lives. How did you become an instructor in this camp? I have led numerous squadrons before, and I've trained hundreds of recruits on the continent. I worked with Captain Rolf in the past, and when I arrived on the island, he recommended me for this position. That's very impressive. And I expect that you're familiar with the natives' environment and magic. Yes, yes, of course. think that someone this talented fits what we're looking for. You see, we need to find someone who can replace Kurt to oversee my cousin's security. Your cousin is a governor of New Serene, I've heard. It's a prestigious position. I don't doubt my abilities, but an offer like this, made so suddenly, must have a price. We can't hide anything from you. We're trying to find out what happened to Rayner, a recruit who trained here. That name doesn't sound familiar. He must have been in the Shadow Squadron. The other Lieutenant's Squadron? Yes. I'm sorry. I haven't been much use to you. Did something happen to him? He died. His body was thrown into the harbor to make it look like he drowned. I guess it was one of your recruits. My condolences, Captain. We'll question some of your soldiers. At your orders. But please be quick. I'd like to get on with training. Soldier! Yes, Captain. At ease. We have some questions for you. Me? At your orders, Captain. You look exhausted. Is training that rough here? Well, it's difficult at first, but you get through it. Taming fatigue. That's the key to it all. Haven't you ever wanted to stop? You've never doubted your vocation. I'm not a coward, nor a weakling. The strength of the Shadow. What is that? Your motto? Our squadrons, Captain. You seem concerned about your comrades. You keep looking at them. No, no, not at all. Are you afraid of what they might think of you? Absolutely not, Captain. We are all of one mind in this squadron. We are very united. Since this is such a close-knit squadron, you must have known Rayner. Yes, of course. But he's not part of the squadron any longer. He left. Really? I don't know what you're trying to get me to say, Captain. Rayner left the squadron because he was sent on a mission. There's nothing more to say. Sorry, mate, but that's not what happened. I, I don't know anything more. Thank you. That will be all. Thank you, madam. Captain. Good heavens. I feel like a bogeyman. These recruits are clearly scared to let any information slip. It's as if their life depended on it. soldier captain we need information your instructor authorized us to question you of course madam i'm listening how would you describe your training do you train outside the camp much yes we do well not exclusively really yet we've been told that your unit specialized in actions over difficult terrain uh, yes i think so well yes that's true Problems remembering things, soldier. No, Captain. What's it like in your squadron? Very good. The Phantom Squadron is made up only of the very best. Do you trust your comrades? We're like five fingers on one hand, madam. I would trust them with my life. You've sure got the military spirit. Yes, Captain. We've learned that a recruit died in an accident during a maneuver. Does this happen often? Uh... No, of course not. 
Only to those who aren't strong enough. That's strange. I was told that this recruit was very talented. I... I, I don't know what to tell you. It's possible. If you don't mind, I'd like to get back to my training. He seems afraid that an accident might befall him too. No, it's not that. I just don't want to fall behind schedule. Very well. Go on. Excellent. Captain. These kids are scared to death. Yes. This boy's answers about his training seem pretty dubious to me. You can't hide the lies. Soldier. Captain. At ease, soldier. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say about it, my lady. Really? Go oh, on, well, it's not a difficult question. What do you do during training? Is this a test, Captain? No, it's not a test. You may speak freely. Well, training is difficult, but we can't complain, Captain. Mm, that's an interesting way to phrase it. We'd like to learn more about your training. I have nothing to say. Really? Is this a test? No, it's not. Well... Mm. You're very united in this squadron. At least, that's what I've been told. United? You could say that, yes. Until death. That's rather sinister. Does the name Rainer sound familiar to you? Yeah. Uh, well, no, not really. You seem rather hesitant. Afraid of being reprimanded by your lieutenant? No. Well, not at all. It's just that I can't tell you anything about Recruit Rayner. And we're lucky to have the Lieutenant as our instructor, Captain. We should leave this soldier to his work. Your name, soldier? Wilhelm. Uh, first Class Recruit Wilhelm, Spectre Squadron. Keep it up, Wilhelm. Lieutenants, report. Captain? Could you give us a few minutes and take us around the site? I've never been here before, and I'm curious to see what goes on. I'm not sure if we can, Captain. We are on duty, Captain. Right, Lieutenant. Let's go! I... Are you coming with us? No, thank you. I'd rather stay here. Take in some fresh air. As you like. In that case, see you later. Wilhelm, we need to talk. And don't worry, Captain Kurt will make sure your superior doesn't come this way. Why are you doing this? We didn't think you'd say anything as long as she was here. If you noticed, others will have too. They'll make me pay. Even more reason to talk. If we have proof, we can take action and close this camp. <sighs> Very well. What would you like to know? What's really going on here? We know that Reyna didn't die in an accident. This is supposed to be a training camp for the Guard's elite. Only the most talented recruits are allowed to join. This is an immense honor, an extraordinary chance. That's what we're told every day. But in reality, it's just hell. Tell me about the training you undergo here. It's more torture than anything else. We're constantly beaten and humiliated, and the slightest complaint only leads to more blows. They even push us to police one another, so we don't dare talk. Whatever the orders, we put our heads down, grit our teeth, and obey. And they call us barbarians. We could never put our own children through this. I heard them tell you about the specialist training against the natives in hostile environments. But what they teach us would be more useful for assassins. As for Reyna, do you know what happened to him? Yes. One day he just couldn't stand it any longer. He disobeyed orders, he fought back, and people got hurt. That's when things blew up. They summoned him for night training. What does that entail? It doesn't have much to do with real training. They call us up for it at the last minute. The weakest serve as punching bags for the others, who are encouraged to beat them. If we refuse, we too become the targets. So we join in and strike. If you're looking to punish Rain as murderer, you can start with me. We all have his blood on our hands. Thank you for telling us all of this. You should get back to your comrades. I hope you can do something. Have this camp closed. Otherwise, I'll soon be as dead as Rainer. 
We understand the risk you've taken. We won't let you down. Thank you. Really. That was truly fascinating. Captain. I've seen everything I needed to see. You can leave us. Yes, Captain. Shall we go? Kurt, Wilhelm has spoken. What did he tell you? He said the recruits go through hell. They are humiliated, spy on each other, get bullied. It's essentially torture. Rainer wouldn't stand for these methods. He rebelled and was summoned for night training. Are you sure he used that term? Yes. But he told me it's not really training. That recruits are summoned. And the others beat them. Sometimes to death. I know. You know about this kind of training? Yeah. I thought it was a thing of the past. What a monster. How dare he? I'm so sorry. I'm lost for words. Tell me, did you learn anything new? I scouted out the site. There's two parts of the barracks we should look at more closely. Rolf's quarters and the basement, which they refused to open for me. You're full of anger, Sengots. Take a deep breath and think. Then tell us your plan. Let's wait for nightfall. We'll sneak into the camp unseen, search the barracks, the private quarters, and then the basement. We might also try to find out where this night training takes place. Yes. I wouldn't want other young recruits to lose their lives tonight. Especially Wilhelm. Strange. There's no one left in this part of the camp. Maybe they're in the combat pit behind the barracks. I saw it when I visited the camp. Or they've already left for their night training. Let's find Rolf's office. He surely has the key to the basement. This letter is disturbing, Kurt. It confirms that several deaths have been disguised in order to keep this camp secret. But it says that the recruits trained here have been assigned to governors from different cities. And yet I'm sure that Constantine knows nothing about these elite units. The conclusion of the letter also confirms that the commander is pleased with what's been going on here. So Torsten knew. So it seems. Including about the deaths. He's gone too far. He dishonors us all. Sieglinda was right.
this room? What could have happened in here? I know this smell only too well. Fear, blood, death. These people have turned this place into a site of... It will take years of work to erase its traces. This document explains a lot. They torture the soldiers to break them. Rainer shows up on this list more than once. He gave them a lot of problems. Those who resist too much are lynched during night training. Rolf, you'll pay for this. Kurt, Wilhelm's name was added to tonight's training. That's the young man who helped us, isn't it? They will probably kill him for it. We can't let them kill him. We must stop this training immediately. The risk is that Rolf will ambush us. If this boy dies because of us, I will never forgive myself. I refuse to let these recruits pay for the bastards who manipulate them. Let's avoid spilling blood in vain. You surprise me once again, Kurt. You are full of compassion for these youngsters. They're just kids. There has to be a way to reason with them. We'll do what we can. I can't promise anything more. Close to it, sir. It's Move away! Things are about to get dicey! Despite what Wilhelm told me, I wasn't expecting this. Come on. He's getting destroyed. They'll kill him. We can't let them get away with it. Stop! We won't let you kill this boy like you killed Rainer. Soldiers! Do you realize what you're doing? Captain? But... You shouldn't be here. This time, you won't get away with it. Tams! When my master of arms was in the guard, he always repeated, fight with honor. What honor is there in lynching one of your own when he's defenseless? What honor is there in being forced to kill one another the moment one of you refuses to toe the line? None. We followed orders, nothing more. You've been manipulated. 
But it's not too late to refuse all of this, to act with honor. You're right, Captain. It's over, Lieutenant. We will no longer beat our own. Imbeciles. Traitors. Will you be all right? I'm wounded, but I'll survive. Thanks to you. I'm eternally grateful. Come, Wilhelm. We'll help you get home. We owe you that, at least. I'm counting on you to bring him back to the camp in one piece. Yes, Captain. Well then, let's go. We can't let that vermin Rolf escape us. Let's hope that Rolf didn't hear the sounds of combat. Surprise is our best ally. You're right. Let's try to approach discreetly. It's blocked. It's blocked. It's blocked.
Kurt. You're so predictable. I knew you were a bastard. But I didn't think you'd be part of this disgrace. Have fun, soldiers! The traitors must die! Stop! Soldiers, are you really going to obey these scoundrels? Do I need to remind you of the guard's motto? Where is your honor? I won't repeat myself, recruits. Execute these traitors! Soldiers, listen to your captain. You are the victims of these monsters, and we are here to save you. We surrendered without resistance, to avoid a fight and to spare your lives. Well, what do you want us to do? We have orders. And we know what will happen to us if we don't obey. Enough! To arms! Attack! Must I remind you what happened to Reyna? And however many others perished to fuel the ambitions of this camp's leader. Is this what you were promised when you were recruited? No. No. Honor and glory. We strayed far from all that. Let's surrender. Anything is better than dying here like dogs. How dare you? You know what awaits you. Shut up, you idiot. You're no longer in a position to threaten anyone. Congratulations, Lieutenant. You've trained cowards. Their training wasn't finished, Captain. And the speeches were so convincing. Silence! Where is this second squadron? Should have been here a long time ago. They're not coming, Rolf. They surrendered, too. It would appear that your training methods aren't very effective. Now that you no longer have lackeys to send after us, Rolf, You'll have to get your own hands dirty. I've dreamt of shutting that big mouth of yours up for so long. Found the Dara Grimmer Dar and Dam. Found the Dara Will you be all right, Kurt? Yes. Yes. I'll be fine. I'm just glad to know that this camp won't kill anyone else. What about you, Wilhelm? Thank you for saving my life. Without you... I hope you can forget all about this. This is not what the Guard is about. I don't know if you'll be able to forgive us, Wilhelm. I've been in your shoes on other nights. You didn't have the choice. While we wait for this camp to close for good, You'll be under Wilhelm's command. You'll soon receive your transfer orders. At your orders, Captain. Glad it's you, Wilhelm. You'll stay here for now. I'll send men I trust to come get you soon. What do you want us to do? I'll need backup if I really want to put an end to all of this. We must go see Major Sieglinder in New Serene. I need to tell her what was going on here. Are you sure she wasn't involved? Her? Never. She's old school. She already held the commander at a distance because she didn't like the direction the guard was headed. He would have sacked her, or worse, if she didn't have so much support within the guard. I should have listened to her. There's no use brooding over the past. Let's go. We'll go see her immediately. Sieglinder, I need to talk to you. What's the matter, Kurt? We've just returned from a training camp. A secret camp where elite soldiers are trained through terror, humiliation, and torture. Don't tell me that. Yes. One of my recruits died, and he wasn't the only one. It is designed to create a regiment of assassins. I am sorry, Kurt. 
I knew something was wrong, but I never would have thought it'd go that far. We put an end to it all. We had to. But Torsten allowed it. Even encouraged it. I told you that the Commander's ambition would end up leading us astray from the ideals of the Guard. And that we would pay the price for it. Yes. At the time, I told you you were exaggerating. That he had his reasons. What are you gonna do? I'm going to speak out, Sieglinda. And reveal the Commander's project to the Governor of the Congregation. If I were as close to him and his family as you are, I would have done so a long time ago. I know. I feel so stupid for not having understood Torsten's scheme until now. You've always been a loyal person, Kurt. And too many loyalties are sometimes hard to reconcile. But Torsten betrayed us all. I'm counting on you to make him pay for it. Believe me, he won't get away with it. Goodbye, Sieglinde. Goodbye, Kurt. My men and I stand with you. Greetings! So... Thanks, but I'd rather walk. Lady Morange said the ruins would be around here. She must have been talking about Deidre. <laughs> 